G'day, we're back again. <sighs> oh, my elbow. <laughs> We've got our stick, but we have to continue whittling away so that we can eventually replace this ax head. Now, it's important to remember. I can't believe this works. <laughs> but it's also important to remember to wear protection for your eyes and your face. If you want to level up your level of protection, <laughs> What you, what you need is, is something to cover the whole face. And then you just pick up the knife and you just really go at it. It doesn't seem to be working very well. Some people do call me a pothead, but I, this is the only kind of pot that I have to do with. <laughs> Truly, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Forever sharp. I want to be forever sharp. What you can do is just whack at it like you, 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 <coughs> you just whack at it <coughs> like there's no tomorrow. And eventually you'll hit it. Keep your hands out of the way. Don't forget the safety squints. It's actually working. It is making it sharper and sharper though, which is not, not what really what I want. We're making a terrible mess. We must be doing something right. So then we can use our chisel. This is called a knife. Oh, this is why we don't have knife things. <laughs> I can chop things using only my mind. I saw it with my own eyes. How does that joke go? <laughs> I can't remember. Now the spear is coming along very nicely. <laughs> this is silly. Like spear fishing, I speared that fish, I chiseled that fish, I knifed that fish, kind of works. I hammered that fish, I recorded that fish, I masking taped that fish, I assaulted that fish. Oh, poor bub, he lost his sunglasses. It's important to mark on your piece of wood where you definitely want to cut the, the, the thing. Nice and straight, make it nice and straight, unlike my soul. <laughs> what are you talking about, Simon? You're doing woodwork in a cubby house with a black shirt on. How much more straight can you get? Well, I did just smack my disco ball, and that's not a euphemism for anything. Here, look, see, I'll show you. Simply adjust the camera. Oh, yeah! Progress, progress, we need progress. Maybe there's a way. Attach it to the wall here, and I can cut it. No. Um, oh, there's some god rays. You raise me up. There, that's better. So, here's some more woodworking tips. Just here. That's the woodworking tip. Sorry. First, we need to use our safety crocs. Oh, I've been cutting it in a corkscrew fashion. Did I just invent the corkscrew? <laughs> no. And now for a more hands-on approach. Once again, if in doubt, just use the old hammer and chisel. Or the chamozel. So, when you finally get sick of chammering and is rolling, um, we're going to go smack it with the hammer directly. If you get the angle just right, and you smack it, the end of it will come clean off. M maybe I didn't smack it hard enough. Wow, it's working! Oh my gosh! I did not expect that to work at all. A perfectly clean cut. Next time we're going to go ahead and attach the, um, the axe head. Axe head? Axe head? Accident. It definitely is a bit dented. Mm. Uh, be kind, be curious, and stay awesome. And if you want more bald silliness with this shiny head, don't forget to fo follow me. Well, I'm leaving. <laughs> you follow me. Come on. Hey, Fee. Yeah. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Leslie. Leslie who? Leslie who it is. Hey Fee. Yes. Knock knock. Hello. 